just quickly, if anyone wants to find Christoph, where can they find you, buddy? Uh, where can you find me in Poland? Oh, I mean on social media. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 guys don't go on his door knocking on there that's just, that's just creepy <laughs> hi guys welcome to big laws official today's talking strongman guest is the awesome polish sensation Krzysztof radzikowski mr triceps himself how's things buddy hey hello everybody it's really good to see you. it's been a while i think um 2018 was the last time i saw you over in the faroe islands ah yes but last year we see in uh, dubai Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we were in Dubai. That's right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I, my memory's going now. But um, no, how are you feeling? You, you, you're in good shape? Uh, you know, now in this time, I don't know who is in shape. <laughs> only, guy who, only guy maybe who, who is someone record is yeah. in shape because no competition. I don't know how the situation in England now in Poland is terrible. Now, uh, after the president election, we have more this the person who have this virus, I don't know why, Be before not was virus, now virus COVID back, I don't understand yeah, this. It seems to be. And, a... uh, uh, all uh, all uh, competition is cancelled then. Actually, mm -hmm. we, we have maybe one or two competition and this is big question, if will be this do it. Yeah, it's the same over here, to be honest. I mean, there is talk of a few shows, the Giants Live guys are doing a show behind closed doors now. Uh, just for TV. Um, the smaller shows at the moment, some of the small kind of non-televised shows are scheduled to go ahead, but literally everything that people plan things and then they have to cancel and postpone. So it's been a really hard year to prepare for anything. And I think it's yes, going to be like same, that. It's the same oh. situation in, in Poland. Was Everything was good. Was election president. Every, they say so it's going down. We fight. Uh, we win with virus, and now we have more sick people than before. I don't know. Yeah. I don't understand this. But how have you been? You, you you've been able to train yourself. You you feeling good? You're looking fit and healthy at the moment. Uh, you know, I'm uh, I lose a couple kilo. I'm one and forty two kilo now. I lose twelve kilo. Okay. I training more like bodybuilder. Yeah. No uh, no equipment strongman. I don't have equipment strongman. Maybe from the last time in Dubai, I have something in hand like log, like really? dumbbell, like something. Yeah, okay. training only like bodybuilder. Yeah. Well, you're you're a famous man in Poland now, aren't you? You you don't need to do strongman anymore. You you're a, we we have it as well in here. You're on Gogglebox, aren't you? Yeah, I I still in Gogglebox, but you know, uh, people uh, people know me from Gogglebox, but for me more important is. When people know me from this uh, strongman sport, when was Marius, when was yeah. this before, this was very, very popular. You know, when uh, this was in 2001 to 2005, when was this big boom for strongman in Poland, if we will be have that time, Facebook, Instagram, we will be oh. have a lot of millions of fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously Marius made strongman so popular. I remember coming to a few shows in Poland and you had big crowds. Yeah, yes. You know, it, was, it was always good coming over to do shows over there. TV, good sponsors, good place. It was in the lot of competition was in sea, in the beach. It was a beautiful time. Yeah. Do you still see Marius? Ah, sometimes I see him, but he... You know, when we start this pandemic, we can't uh, go to other person, we can't meet. Uh, was these rules and everybody, I don't know, maybe someone scared to meet with the other people. Now he training this MMA sport. I training only in gym. Yeah. Then, you know, I don't have time too much. I have uh, TV, I have a lot of other jobs. I go to normal job. I I working in school now. I'm PE teacher. You're teaching it right yeah, now. Yeah, like coming back. You know, when coming back this pandemic, and I know so not not will be competition. I said okay, I must rest. Then I go to come back to school like physical education teachers. Then it's okay for me. Yeah, you're, you're enjoying I, it. Yes, you know, I go to job. I have uh, three hours uh, volleyball. Two hours basketball, <laughs> good five hours training and go home. You must, you must <laughs> be like for me. <laughs> you must be like the coolest PE teacher ever. You get this huge because you're you're in good shape and you got the, those huge arms. The children must just be like, I'm not going to be naughty in this class. They're going to be be behaving. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, but you know, I'm uh, I'm uh, in not normal uh, school. Only I working in a prison for child. Okay. There is school inside, and you know, for this child, I'm uh, they they have gym there. Yeah. Then, you know. So you, you you get their respect when you start benching. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they do. They they tend to respect like that that strength side of things that that I guess you have. It, it, it probably wins them over a little bit, I guess, better than some other people would be able to. Yeah, but you know, I like this job, and uh, I think maybe I got to this child something to his head. They will be go out from this this place and will be normal person. Maybe maybe someone could go to sports way or something like this. Yeah, that's good to hear. No, I'm I'm glad you 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 keep keeping busy. I mean, I know how busy you are with everything else, but I didn't realize you were back working as well full time because you you did strongman professionally for a long time, didn't you? Yes, I was. Uh, my first competition was in 2003. Wow, 2003 was your first. 2003 You've been doing was my first competition. This was junior Polish strongest man. Yeah, was did my you first competition? Yes. Did you win? Yes, I won this. <laughs> and uh, after this competition, there there was a uh, uh, place. So first time I meet Jarek Dimek. Okay. There I first I meet someone big strong man. Yeah. Like Yarek Dimek, and I said, wow. <laughs> and, how, how old were you at the time? That time? Yeah. How I old? was 20, 22. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm 39 it... now. Yeah, I'm yeah. one year older than you. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking better, though. You're, you're, doing, you're doing good. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've been doing this a long time, haven't we? <laughs> yes. Yes, I think too long. <laughs> we must have competed against each other. I don't know how many times in like the Champions League and the Super Series and Giants Lives, yeah. World's Strongest Man. Yeah, we've been, we've, we've had some fun behind the scenes as well. It's always been good. Now, Lawrence, now I waiting me, you, maybe Brian, Caron, uh, others to uh, go to uh, Masters. Masters. Yeah, a few more, <laughs> couple of years, and we'll all be in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, do you, what do you think of the Masters? Because at first I was like, you know, I'm not that, I wasn't that keen on it. But whereas now there seems to be a lot more, you know, you've got some good guys. Zedrunas does it yeah, now. Yeah. So. Zedrunas won the world's strongest man when he was 41, I think. <laughs> yeah. You know, he, he won his last worlds, he was 38. But, um, he's, yeah, he's gone into the Masters now. He's won that a few times. He's, he's 40. He won last time. Last time he won 214. Yeah, yeah. Then 214, he was 40. He's 45 now. So 46. He's seven, 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 four, seven, five, seven, five. Oh, right, and 39 <laughs> or something like this. Something, yeah, yeah, still very but impressive. Serious. Yes. <laughs> so can can you win World's Strongest Man now? You're 39. <laughs> 39 is I have this year and I don't know so will be world strongest man this year or not how you think they they seem confident that they can do it they do um from what I've heard they're going to do it regardless um because they have to for tv but it just depends how many international athletes they're going to get if there's restrictions on flights so yeah, but, but you know to, to America or from America nothing flying I know, and that's that's the real issue right now. They're talking about doing it in Florida in November, so it's fine for the American guys to get there, but it could be an issue for other people. But I guess we've just got to wait and see. And you know what world is like. They can say they're doing it in a location and then change it last minute. So <laughs> we'll we'll see. But um, yeah, like 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 now uh, was uh, last week was Strongman Champions League in Finland. Okay, a Polish guy must go there. But Poland now is in this country when where is a lot of this uh, sick virus, and when we go somewhere, then it's two weeks. This uh... same same in the UK. If we go anywhere, once we get back, we have two weeks quarantine. And yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. for people that have full time jobs and stuff like that, it's, yeah. it's then who go to competition? Nobody. Uh, there, there'll be some, but um, it's you know the guys just just focusing on strongman full time. I think they'll be okay because. They don't have to worry too much when they can get back. They, you know, like the Stoltmans, for instance, they've got their own gym that they train in. They, they've got everything they need. But for, for some of the other guys that are working more, it's going to be difficult. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you've, you, you've just been ticking over in the gym training-wise. You, you still feel um, strong? I you know. I'm coming back to bigger bench press. I, uh, I'm pressing easily to 20, 200, 6, 7 reps. Yeah. 
Oh, maybe I come back to this 15. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you ever done powerlifting? No, no, I never competed in powerlifting. Do you, do you have any I interest have, in doing I it? have, you know, I have one time invitation, 2015, to this uh, Cup of Titan to St. Petersburg. Yeah. And I said, okay, I'm go. And that time I do it 400 squat, not, not, not so heavy, 400 deadlift, uh, no straps and no suit, and almost 300 bench. But this was same time like uh, Arnold Classic in Rio, and I go, and I go to uh, yeah. Arnold. No, I always thought you'd make a great power lifter because you don't have a weak lift in, in those three. You're, you're, you're good in across the board, bench, squat and deadlift. They're all good for you. Yeah, but you know, when you are strongman and like me, I competing a lot of time in strongman, there's no time to preparing to of course yeah. power lifting. And same second question, second uh, is in power lifting was not good money that time. Yeah. Yeah. There's now, a few now it's a few contests now, that are better. Yes. There's um, big dogs in Australia, yes. that's a good show. Uh have yeah. seen Graham Graham Hicks went over and did that, did really well. Um, the WPF in, in Russia, they put some, some good shows on. Yeah. yeah it's a strong man's still better. And I think, I think the exposure for strong man is better, but with social media now, there's a lot of powerlifters that are very well known. Yeah. Now it's very popular powerlifting. Would you, would you think of doing it or, or are you, you still not really interested? I don't know for diploma and only <laughs> that I'm not interested. <laughs> 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 you still have you still got that hunger to do strongman then? Uh, one more time. Do you still have the hunger to to really want to push yourself with the strongman contest? Ah, uh, you know, Lawrence, are you are hungry? <laughs> <laughs> I've I've people are fed up of me saying that I've lost that hunger. It's it's hard. I think when you get older, you get other responsibilities. You and I have both had a lot of injuries, yes. and that that's probably my biggest factor is that I'm not as good as I used to be. And whenever I send, you know, I've spent the last few years trying to push myself to get back to that best level. And then I get another injury. <laughs> and yeah. it's, it's like, I don't, I don't want to end up, you know, a cripple. So I, I'm just enjoying training now, bringing my weight down a little bit like yourself and, and just enjoying life a bit more rather than when, when you're trying to be the best you can be. It's, it's a hundred percent focus, you know, eating, yeah. training traveling it, it takes up a lot of your life and you know I've, I've got a family to think about and they, they've become more important when I was younger strongman was everything but yes. I think you know is that as, the as we get problem Lawrence, the biggest problem is like you said when you or me in this age we want to uh, push body for new uh, record then it's more than 50 percent that we got injury yeah <laughs> And this is the, the problem. No yeah. problem is got this power or training or because I'm hungry this, but yeah. I don't want injury. Yeah, and this exactly. Is that. Yeah, no, uh, it's that mental side as well. You sort of, yes. it's, it's fine in the gym where you feel safe. You can back off if you need to. Yeah. But I know in competition and you're the same, you, you want to go 100%. And that's when, when you're competing against, and the guys are so good now as well. You know, I still and believe. Much yeah, and much younger. Yeah. Where, whereas, <laughs> In, in our prime, if you look at the numbers that we did in our prime, you could still be competitive, but there's so many good guys now. When we were doing the Champions League, you know, there'd be you, me, Zadrunas, a couple of other good guys, and then there was like some not so good guys. Whereas now, everyone's good. And if you're going to these shows and you're not at 100%, if you, you know, if you're not coming in the top three, you don't get paid. So <laughs> it's, you've either got to be pushing yourself 100% all the time. And I, now in competition, you have 10 good guys. Yeah. And uh, and prize money is only for top six sometimes. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sometimes the top three, <laughs> you know. If, yeah, exactly. yeah. so it's um it's uh, it's hard to motivate yourself to keep pushing all yeah. the time. Whereas uh, you know, uh, like you say, maybe we'll we'll kind of get the motivation when we're over forty, do some of the masters yeah, okay. shows again. And we wait of... one year, and then next year we're going hungry for <laughs> for uh, yeah, the masters. We'll, we'll you see. remember? You remember Champions League in uh, FIBO, my first FIBO, yeah. 2013, was you, Misha, Lala, Thor, yeah, me, Erwin. Look how many, Martin Villar, look how many good guys were there. Yeah, it was, it was or seven good guys. It was crazy strong show. FIBO was always good. It was always good fun. I think I, I did FIBO the year before, and um, I think Zadrunas won. I was second, and Irvin was third. And then we did like a, a deadlift challenge in the evening for extra money. So we did this like deadlift challenge, us three against the powerlifters. 
and yeah. the total between the strongmen and the powerlifters got an extra bonus. And like you had Irvin, who's you know strong as anything, Zadrunas, who's just probably the greatest strongman of all time, and myself, I was like a 430 deadlifter at the time. There was no way we could lose. I think we all got like a two or three grand bonus. It was good. <laughs> yeah, no, it, was, it was nice. It was fun. It was always a, a good fun show. I, I, can't, I honestly I can't. I can't remember how many times we've competed against each other. It's been a lot. Yeah, no. I remember 2013, I competing more than 20 times. Yeah. yeah. You, you were doing all the Champions League at one point, weren't yeah. you? 13, 14, 15, 12, 16. Oh. Did you ever win the overall with the Champions League? Two times. Two times 13, overall winner. Two, yeah. 13. 13, I was first in overall. 14, I was second in overall. I lose with Martin, one or two points. Yeah. <laughs> 15, Martin. I won. 16, I was second. And 18, I was second. You, you did well with the Champions League then. I mean, you must have, you must have done 100 Champions Leagues. <laughs> yeah, when, when Alex do it, this all... This, uh, uh, all uh, mm, who who win how many competition? The, yeah. this, all I've seen the, the list. Yeah, this list. Then the Drunas was first, of course. Yeah, and I was surprised, so I'm second in this. Your list. second all-time competitions in wow. Champions League. Okay, there were 20, 20 something first place, <laughs> twenty something second place, and thirty something third place, something like this. Wow, that's that's incredible to be on the podium of over seventy contests. Yeah. I all think the people, Champions League and Giants Life, Arnold Classic, and others. Was there, did, you, I think, did you place fourth at the Arnold's? Was that your best at the Arnold's? In Ohio, four. Yeah. In Australia, two times second. In Rio, second, third, and third, I think. Yeah. In Europe, three times second, two times third. Yeah. And uh, where is Arnold Moore? There's um, Europe, so there's Brazil. In Africa, um, I, I Africa. never was in Africa. And in Asia, I also never was there. Okay. But you've, you've had an incredible career when you look back at the, the results that you've had. Yeah, you've... I remember 2012 when almost all the same guys who was in the uh, uh, final World's Strongest Man yeah. going to Arnold's. And I was second there. I was very happy. So I beat, yeah. beat guys who was in the podium, like Thor, like Lalas. I was <laughs> second there. <laughs> yeah, no. It's, I think we, we, we had so many good guys for, for a long period of time that could all beat each other depending on events, didn't we? You know, you had Zadrunas and Brian. You know, they were the best two guys. But there yeah. were so many of us that probably between maybe 15 to 20 guys that could all beat each other depending on their shape and what kind of, it was, it was a good fun time and very competitive. Yeah. But um, now it just seems to be like there's 40 or 50 good guys. It's just getting yeah. stronger and stronger <laughs> and stronger, but it's, it's good to see. I, I, I'm glad to see the sport progressing, you know, yeah, sure, but, the... but you know, this now 200 log is nothing special. Oh, I know. It's but um, eight years ago, 200 log was wow. Well, what's, what's your best log? You done 217? 217 and a half from Australia. That's, that's, I did a, a video recently on, on guys I think that could break the log lift record. And I, I think if you in your prime just focused on the log, you could have broken it. Yeah, but you must know. So when I do with this record, I was 145 kilo, not 160 yeah. or 170 yeah, yeah, like yeah. now. No, but your, your shoulders were always incredible. I mean, just for shoulder and tricep strength. I think you were you were up there with Zadrunas. I think for the log, he was a little bit more stable through the midsection, so his his stability was better than than yours. I think when it got really heavy, you could see you had the pressing power, but you'd start stumbling a little bit. Yeah. You know, in 2015, in uh, 2015 in Rio, when Zadrunas do it 228 kilo, I also uh, tried this, and this is video in YouTube, and was not so. Uh, uh, not so too much to to pressing it was right hand I think was uh, not so much uh, power. Do you do but you have any? I feel this, but I feel this in my chest. How okay. this? It's I, amazing. I clean this and I know how much is weight two twenty eight in chest. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny how like five kilos can make a huge difference, can't it? 
Like people, it's sometimes people watching, they don't realize they, they can see a lift and think, oh, that looked easy. But you know yourself, like five, two and a half kilos sometimes, it can make a big difference. I see Luke's one, 225 was easily. Yeah. I think 230 will be no problem. And you see, yeah. it was only five kilo. Yeah. And this is big, big, big problem. So. Do you think, um, do you think one of them is going to break the record soon? I think yes. Yeah. I think yes. Every record can be broken. Oh, I, you see I, 500 I, kilo. You see 500 kilo. Uh, now I saw this this week. This week I saw Payman, Mary yeah. Hapuri, 470 easily. Yeah. I see this guy Makarov strong, uh, 470 almost too red. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how yeah. strong. <laughs> I mean, when when you know what was your best around four thirty? Four thirty. Yeah, yeah. We, we were good deadlifters back then. Now it's yeah. like an op opening weight for these guys. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we don't come back. This is why we're sort of watching yeah. now. <laughs> but it's. I mean, when I started strongman, the strongman deadlift record was four hundred and ten kilos. Yeah. So I remember when Zdrunas beat record and this was 435 or yeah. three and a half, something like this in England, yeah. in Europe. Yeah. This, was, this was something incredible for me. Oh. Now 500 is... It's crazy. And they just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. I, I really, I don't know what's, what people are capable of anymore. <laughs> it's, yeah. it, it's, it's, it's amazing. Just when someone does something, then more people follow and they all, you know, more people believe they're capable of more and they break down new barriers. It's, it's incredible what the human kind of can do. Yeah, of course. Have you got any interest in doing the log record? That's what I was going to ask you. Or you, you, you're not fussed? Because I did a video recently and I, I you know, I put you as, as one of the guys that if you could get yourself back into top shape, you know, potentially you could, you could be a contender. But it's, it's a hard thing to push yourself to do sometimes, isn't it? Uh, you know, like I said, I maybe I can do this because a lot of guys who see how I pressing say you can do this, but yeah. my head thinking injury, injury coming, yeah. And, <laughs> and you know, I broke in one time three times in log, yeah. Other is okay, then I don't want broke other. <laughs> I know you're like a bionic man these days, so run through some of the injuries that you've had and, and uh, surgeries. I have six surgeries then. Is enough for me. Yeah. I know you, in your um, your arm you've got like a, a metal bone, don't you? You've got... Yes, I have titanium in my bone. Inside is titanium, like Wolverine. Have this <laughs> other inside. Yeah. I have titanium inside how, in the left hand. How cool would that be if we could kind of replace our skeletal with a? <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be good. But then still the tendons and, and muscles to worry about. So. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when I'm in airport and I go to this. Uh, security line then it's pee 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you get stopped everywhere you go yeah, yeah. <laughs> well you've you've traveled all over so where's where's your favorite place that you've been to for competition or uh, for holiday uh both both tell it tell us for both i think uh for competition i you know when i start strongman for competition the best was poland yeah was poland is center the strongman uh, of the world yeah now I think the best crowd and the biggest crowd is in your country, in England. Yeah. When I was in Europe, strongest man in Giants life, coming 20,000 people, coming 15,000. There is incredible. Yeah. How look at Giants life and others. But for holiday and for uh, beautiful place and food, because we are strong when we, we <laughs> I looking for food. When I go somewhere, I must say uh, good food. For me. Be good. Then it's Brazil. Brazil is a beautiful place. Oh, I'd love to go to Brazil. It's one place I've not, well, I've not been to. I haven't been lucky enough to go and compete over there, but it looks really it's cool. It's beautiful. Like Rio is beautiful beach and, and food, these steaks, Brazilian steaks, and it's nice. a woman, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you, know, you need some beautiful women around, naturally. Are you, are you single right now? You got, a, you got a missus? Oh, no, no. I have, man. Uh, we are together then. Two years. Oh wow, that's cool. You're always like a, a playboy back in the day. You're handsome, <laughs> Christoph. <laughs> yeah, no, no. You're settling down now, Christoph. You're getting. That's what happens. 
<laughs> I'm old. <laughs> You're old. You've lost that hunger. <laughs> and you, no, it's it's all good, man. You, you, it's it's cool talk. I, I like talking to some of the guys that obviously I've competed with. It's been great talking to the the older kind of guys that I used to look up to. But guys like yourself and Lalas and a few others, they're just you know, it's like talking to your friends again. So it's it's always good fun. And I I know we've always had some good fun behind the scenes at contests. Do you remember Dan Gracia? Yes, of course. I see him in Instagram. He's looking good now. He's yeah, looking a lot better. Hundred percent. He changed his body. Then it's... yeah, fair play to him. He still gives me shit though for that contest we did in um, China when in China. Did, yeah, you broke we, him out first day. <laughs> I, I'll just fill people in because it it was a very strange contest. We had. To, it was like a team contest. So they split the two teams. I think I was the blue team captain. Zadrunas was the red team captain. And it was like a game show where after each day you had to like eliminate a, a member of your team. And I, I, I got rid of Dan first day. And <laughs> my God, he's given me so much shit for it ever since. He yeah, still doesn't let me. But, uh, I was there. Yeah, you were, you, were in the, you were in the winning red team. <laughs> no, I was No, you were in my team. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, I was blue. Yeah, you were blue. We had uh, was Irvin in our team as well. Irvin. Irvin also was in yeah, yeah. blue team. Yeah, there's a picture of you three, you Dan and Irvin doing the muscle pose <laughs> together. And God, yeah. uh, the crazy outfits they used to make us wear. Yeah, so I said there's too strong an genetic mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's looking good now though. Then maybe that stuck yeah, with him because he's, he's got himself in shape. It's it's really good to see. Right, before, um, you know, I, I want to get your story of Strongman. What, um, what got you into it? Was it seeing guys like Marius Pudzianowski or, or was there anyone before that? Or was it like, you know, lots of guys, they saw Arnold Schwarzenegger as a bodybuilder and just wanted to get into the gym. What was, what was the catalyst that made you want to do Strongman? You know, when I was young, of course, everybody watching TV and it was Arnold, was Terminator, was Predator, was uh, Commando, was other, was uh, Sylvester Stallone, like, like Rambo. It was different time. Not was internet. Not not was uh, too much TV. Not was uh, was only sports, football, and others. Yeah. And uh, I go to gym. To be like him, like Arnold, yes, like like Stallone, like Arnold. Yeah. But I don't like too much bodybuilding because this diet. Yeah, I don't. I hate the diet. And uh, that time, Marius coming to the scene, strongman, and strongman was very popular in Poland. It was everywhere where you go it was strongman, strongman competition, strongman, strongman in TV. And I think the first time I met a strongman in TV, I saw when Jarek Dymek do it, someone world record. Okay. And I think, wow, this is something for me. This guy looking very good and he's very strong and a lot of people watch him and he have money for this. <laughs> this is something for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, yeah. So you, can, you did your first contest, uh, the junior Polish, you said you, you did yes. that? What was your yes. first like big contest that you did? I don't know, in 2005 was uh, elimination to a couple of uh, Polish, uh, this uh, uh, Varka Strong, okay, a cup of Polish, and uh, to elimination coming uh, 30 or, or 40 guys from all Poland, and I was third in this elimination. Who, who was the first two? Is there anyone we know? Or? First was Sebastian Venta. Okay, yeah, very good strong man. Came second. And second was, was uh, Sławek Gorzeł. Okay, so it's a, a strong, I mean, you, you guys had so many good Polish guys coming through. Yeah. You know, in those like late '90s, early 2000 times and mid 2000s, yeah. there was so many good. Even actually, even into like 2010 time, there, there was. Lo I, I remember lots of good Polish athletes, but they didn't stay around for very long. It was um. You was... remember Slavik Toczek? He's still competing. Really? Wow. Yes. How, how old is he now? Oh, 40. Same like Zedrunas, I think. Okay. 45. Yeah. He's That's... still competing. Yeah. What was um the young guy Baron? He was very strong. Yes, he was. And he still is very strong. Only yeah. he training MMA. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He do it, Lawrence, he training MMA and he do it very easily. 300 kilo deadlift or 310 10 reps. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so a few, there's a few strong men have gone to MMA. Obviously, Marius went to MMA. Yes. After, Pol after when Marius go to MMA, all TV in Poland start... Uh, 
introduction showing MMA. Okay. A lot of lot of guys going to fight somewhere because money, money, money. Yeah. And uh, now is lot of federation, not sport federation, only freak fight federation. Okay. And there there are also a lot of guys fighting. Yeah. I have also a proposition, but I say no, no, no. I am strong man. I'm good in this. Yeah, yeah. Maybe someone punch me like. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, <punch> in life. <laughs> yeah. No, that's I, go, I go sleep and will be and all the one will be smiling. Oh, strong and going again. <laughs> so when when was your first? What did you do? World's strongest man for the first time. When was that? Two eleven. Two thousand eleven. But you you were on the international scene for a long time before that, weren't you? In my first international competition was two thousand nine. This one is, uh, was in Russia, in Moscow. Mariusz should take me there. I was, I was six, fifth okay. or six, something like yeah. this. They're competing Tarmomit, Jan Virtanen, and uh, couple, Mariusz, of course, and a couple other guys. I remember seeing on the internet, you remember like they, they used to have the strongman forums and stuff like that back in the day and they, they were talking about this crate like the new Marius Pudzianowski but with even stronger shoulders I remember them kind of saying that yeah. about yeah. you back then because <laughs> you were you were awesome at like the Viking press and, and those type of events yeah I remember that time and <laughs> uh, my first my first Giants life was in 2010 something like this yeah Champions League my first Champions League was 2008 something like but this was only log, log competition. Yeah. So you, you, you did the World Loglift Championships a few times, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Did you ever win it? No. I was three times second. Was that and one time ten, <laughs> Yes, the Drunas and one time Black Eyed is with me. <laughs> <laughs> Those damn Lithuanians. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I was looking up... Just the other day, I was looking through some of the, the old kind of contests, looking at the results, and the amount of times I was second to Zadrunas, I was just like, Jesus, if it wasn't Zadrunas, I would have made a lot more money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, when, when you go to log uh, or competition that time and it was Zadrunas, then you not expect more than second place. <laughs> no. Yeah. So this talking of uh, talking of the log, uh, obviously that's the, 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 the event I really see pushing on now because the has had the record for 15 years who do you feel are the guys that could that, that can legitimately have a chance of breaking the log record i think luke luke and graham uh, graham graham i see now 215 only shoulder pressing i said wow yeah i he's think these two very guys strong. i think these two guys can uh, can do this i agree i think um i think they're the guys that are probably going to get the next opportunity as well from, from uh, I, I believe there's a Giants live show happening behind closed doors that is going to do a log for Max and the World Ultimate Strongman are going to put on a season two of the Feats of Strength so there's another opportunity for them there so they've got the, the chances I'd like to see Ian Bibby involved as well to see what he can do you've you seen him you've seen him pressing what was it 260 yeah, I, saw, his... I saw him but, but you know for him I have uh, too many things because he pressing 230, he go to competition pressing heavy 220. And I don't know how is the weight, his, uh, his log. You know, Graham and, and Luke do with this normal log, normal scale. That empty log, his empty log is 180 or 200 kilo or something like this. <laughs> so you're questioning the weights. Yeah, but he's also very strong. I don't, I don't say so. He's not strong. He of course. The, to to be honest, I mean, I, I agree with you, to be honest. You know, I'd like to see him on a proper, you know, calibrated weights and stuff. But whether his, his weights are 260 or 240, it's still extremely press, impressive. The, yeah, and, and we've both seen what he can do. I mean, I've seen him press 180 in front of my eyes just in the gym. And, he, he, you know, he's, he's legitimately, I, I believe he's got probably the strongest shoulders on the planet. I think Graham... Yeah, Graham and Luke are technically better at the log. Their, their technique is better. Their all-round strength is probably better. And um, just a bit more experienced as well with, with that kind of thing. But I think if... I think if uh, one year, next year, this record will be broken. Oh, I, I, I think we'll see a 240 log in, within the next year. Yeah. You know, it's, the guys are getting so close now and, and just focusing. I, and like we said earlier, you know, back when we were competing, there wasn't any of this focus just on one event. 
Whereas now there's a lot more focus just on the, on the records. So I, I, I think they have to. If I'm going to put you on the spot. If you had to, in your prime, if you just focused on the log, got up to 160 kilos, what do you reckon you could have done? Just, just for some fun, what do you reckon you could have done? I think, I don't know. I think I would be pressing this to 30 that time. I, I believe so. You know, you see, what did you do the two, what was your best, 217 you did? 217 two, and a half. And you, did, you, did you do 220 in the gym or not? In, I in gym, I did uh, 223. Okay, how heavy were you then? Rough. It was so heavy, yeah. Uh, but you know, that time, I'm preparing for Arnold that time. You're preparing for a whole show, I know, I appreciate that. Yes, and... I know it was, this was not the time when, when you showing your the best lift every time like, like now everybody do it. Yeah. Same like uh, bench press, yes. Everybody, a uh, lot of people in Poland say, ah, you never press 300 because you don't have video. That time not was fun for everybody to do with video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Normal phone, normal Nokia, no, not camera. <laughs> yeah, but the Nokia playing snake and then getting like yeah, a, a, a terrible video. You can still look back sometimes now. You see some of these old videos people post up on um on youtube and they're recorded on like a, a terrible quality phone it's amazing how yeah. how the technology's improved but uh -huh. yeah now now everything has to go online otherwise it didn't happen yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was talking to um jf Caron, and we, we were talking about how then you know a lot of newer athletes they just want to know every single detail whereas we sometimes didn't even know the events did we we just turn up Yes, you, know, you, you don't know you, what you event remember. You, do. you remember when you ask Marcel about com event? Marcel, how will we leave event in uh, Champions League? Strong money, oh, yeah, strong money events. <laughs> and then you get there and they'll make you do like a shot put with a brick on on sand or, you know, yeah. <laughs> that that event we did in um, in China, that contest I was talking about earlier, we had to as a team, the six of us had to hold up this bridge. So like like farmers walk handles where we hold up this bridge yeah. and then there's a bridge along and then there's a ramp and you're. Uh, another one of your athletes then had to go and pick up an atlas stone, run up and across the bridge <laughs> to load yeah. these things, and we, we just stood there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was heavy, wasn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there were some really random events back then. Yeah. It, was, it was good fun, though. You you got that time you got information deadlift. You don't know side deadlift, normal deadlift, car deadlift, bar deadlift, or axle deadlift. You don't yeah. know. Just deadlift. deadlift. Yeah. <laughs> And that was that was good information. <laughs> yeah, this was good information then. Yeah. Yeah. It was good fun. We had to just be ready for everything. I, I like now that the guys get to, you know, specifically train. But I also, when I look back, I really enjoyed just the traveling that we did and, and going to different places and just, yeah. you know, it, it was a fun, fun time to do it. And, and you guys made it a lot more enjoyable. <laughs> Especially the after party. Yeah, especially the after party. They were always good fun, but we'll keep them. We'll keep those to ourselves. <laughs> that's for that's for another story for everyone. Christoph, it's been great to catch up with you, buddy. Um, have you, have you got your eyes set on any strongman contests, or is it just more now focusing on the the goggle? But quickly before you go, t tell me about goggle box in Poland because it's quite hilarious watching that in the UK. If no no one's seen it, you basically just sit there watching TV, don't you? Yeah, we see it watching TV and talking. Yeah. Like, you know me, I like talk. I like yeah. talk, I like talking. Like, yeah. <laughs> I like you fun, love... I like smiling. Uh, then I'm good at this. <laughs> yeah, you're very good at it. No, it's, um, it's, it's a funny program. They have, because yeah. I, I, I've not seen the Polish version, but in the UK, they have lots of different types of people on it. So you'll get like this old woman knitting and then like, you know, just lots of I different. There Sorry? is a couple of old people in Poland. Same is old yeah. people. Uh, we are uh, like uh, a strong man, two strong men. But my fr my friends who are sitting with me is not strong man, but he's big. Then he's also strong man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is uh, two women, three women, three guys for somewhere. Fat guy, small guy, everybody. It's good. It just you just sit there, just reacting to different yeah. TV programs that are on. It's yeah. it's so funny. Are you doing another series of it? Uh, yeah, we start uh, next week. Cool. Now we have a little break, two months break, and yeah. we we start next week. I guess the, one of the problems with the COVID is, you know, even TV companies and things haven't been able to to record and do stuff. It's been been shit for so many so many industries. But. <laughs> 
I will. I'm going to try. Uh, is it on YouTube at all? The Polish version. I'll try and find it. I don't know. I'll, I don't know I'll, if the, well, that probably everything is. In I, the I'm sure I can find it. I'll have a look. <laughs> Christoph, it's been great to catch up with you. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. And um, thank you very, very much I'm for coming on. Friend. Just quickly, if anyone wants to find Christoph, where can they find you, buddy? Uh, where can you find me in Poland? Oh, I mean on social media. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't, guys don't go on his door knocking on there that's just, that's just creepy <laughs> oh, I'm Instagram I, I'm on Instagram I'm, I'm active on Instagram on fa fan page Pol Polish professional strongman Krzysztof Radzikowski then. Cool. we'll if put this link me, in the then. comments below guys please comment below let us know what you thought of our chat with Krzysztof obviously you know I've been friends with Krzysztof for a long time and it's always just nice just having a general chat with your buddies I hope you enjoyed it we will be back next time with more Talking Strongman. Take care.